Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Fink. I'm a medical oncologist at Zimmer Cancer Center at New Hanover Regional Medical Center in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, the stages of cancer uh, is an interesting topic. Uh, people uh, and, and even some doctors don't quite understand how cancers go through the stages, how they get started, and how they uh, be, can become so advanced. Uh, the best we can tell, cancer cells get started very, can, can start many, many years before they're actually detected. Uh, they may start out as, uh, most cancers start out obviously as normal cells, but they, but they undergo some mutations and actually those mutations lead over many year period of time to yet more mutations that lead to uh, the cells becoming abnormal to the point that they, are, uh, that they actually become malignant. As these cells acquire mutations in, in their DNA, they, uh, they accumulate as, as a ball and then start growing some new blood vessels into them. And as they do that, uh, the, the cells may start to leave the, the site of origin and then can spread into uh, other parts of the body. It's, it's interesting that the, the primary tumor may be quite ahead in time Com, uh, as, as uh, in comparison to the, the cells that have spread. So we may find a cancer that we think is confined to one particular area, but in fact they may, the cells may have already spread, but we can't find those. In general, when we find a cancer that seems to be confined to one area, we call that stage one. So a patient may hear they have stage one cancer, meaning the cancer is confined to one area. Uh, uh, the patient may hear that they have stage two cancer. This tends to mean that the cancer is possibly confined to one area, but may have spread into the lymph nodes or may have spread a little bit deeper into the, the, the uh, structure of origin, say a colon cancer where the tumor is invaded beyond the inner lining of the colon and into the muscle of the colon. That would be considered a, a T2 lesion. Um, and, uh, and then if it has spread yet further into the surrounding fat, of the colon, that would be a T3 lesion, what we call tumor 3 or T3, and that might be called stage 2. If a person hears they have stage 3 cancer, this means the cancer is spread a bit beyond that and may have uh, be involving the local area in, in quite, a bit more, uh, quite a bit more severe way. There may be lymph node involvement um, and, and there may be uh, a bigger tumor that's invaded some adjacent structures, making it a bit more locally advanced. When we say you have stage four cancer, this generally means the cancer has spread outside of the site of origin. So stage four means it may have originated, for example, in the breast or the prostate, but now we have found that there are deposits of cancer in the bone. And as I say, this event where the cancer has spread may have occurred quite a bit earlier in the life of the cancer, but wasn't detected at first. So the stage four may, may or may not occur at the beginning. We, we, you may find that you have a stage one, a patient may have a stage one or stage two cancer, but later in life, maybe a year or two, or even as many as five years later, has been told their cancer has spread and that they now have stage four cancer. And that's really the, uh, the way stage, uh, staging of cancer works.